My objection is uh, not to the deadliness of it. The, the issue has to do with the mind-altering um, aspect of it. In Scripture, we have multiple uses of wine that are legitimate. Paul tells Timothy to take a little wine for his stomach. That's a medical application. There's the sacramental application. Jesus instituted the Lord's Supper with uh, wine. There's the celebratory aspect of wine. Uh, God gives, uh, uh, gives wine to gladden the heart of man. So you've got numerous legitimate applications of wine in Scripture, which means that wine is sometimes okay, according to Scripture. The one prohibited use of wine or beer or strong drink in Scripture is that which impairs the mind, where you're no longer sober-minded. You're no longer in control of how you're thinking or how you're walking or how you're standing up. That prohibited use to wine, be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Holy Spirit in Ephesians, that prohibited use is the whole point of marijuana use. Nobody smokes marijuana because it pairs nicely with the fish. That's not why people smoke marijuana. If, and if someone said, well, you could, you could microdose or you could, you could do a little teeny tiny bit. Yeah, if a teeny tiny bit, or if you walk by someone's apartment where secondhand marijuana smoke was coming out and you got, a, you got two mouthfuls as you were walking by, I don't think there's any sin in that. And I don't think it alters your mind. There's also no point in doing it. The, the whole point of smoking marijuana is to get the buzz that is prohibited to users of alcohol.